Well, I define consciousness according to Penrose's view. It's a particular type of self-collapse of the wave function. Now, as you know, things can be in superposition of multiple possible states or locations. That's quantum superposition, and that's the natural state in the quantum world. Now, we don't see that in our classical world. Why not? Well, one explanation is that conscious observation causes collapse. That's the Copenhagen interpretation. Another is that every superposition branches off and forms a new universe, the multiple worlds hypothesis. Another is that interaction of superposition with the environment causes decoherence. And the fourth possibility is that superpositions grow until they meet some kind of natural threshold inherent in nature, which causes them to convert from the quantum superposition state to the classical state. There are several types of, of these theories which are called objective reduction, an objective threshold for quantum state reduction. One is if the system grows too large, that's the uh, girardi Remini weber grw theory. Another is Roger Penrose's idea that well, first he starts with a question, what is superposition? And he says it's a separation in fundamental reality at the most basic level. So much like the, the uh, multiple worlds view, the, separate, the universe separates and begins to separate, but that these separations or bubbles, if you will, in, the, in, in reality it's most, at the most basic level are unstable and after a while will collapse to one or the other. And that this type of collapse, this type of objective reduction that occurs due to this instability and the separation of the universe is consciousness and it can only happen in very special circumstances because you need a system that's isolated from the environment so it doesn't it has to be protected so it doesn't decohere and it has to be large enough to reach this threshold the threshold is given by it's inversely related to the size of the superposition so something very small like an electron in superposition if protected from decoherence would take 10 million years to reach threshold and then it would have a very dull, tiny moment of consciousness. Uh, something very large will reach threshold quickly. And in the brain, we think that quantum computations occur which reach threshold roughly at 25 milliseconds. So 40 times a second, we have conscious moments, uh, collapses, these self-collapses, in which the superpositions collapse to the classical world. And it's a process occurring at the most basic fundamental level of the universe at the Planck scale, basically, connected to the brain by quantum computations occurring in our brains.